everyone! Today I'm going to be doing one of these um, houses from this um, lovely page from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. My plan is to do each of the houses a different colour. I think I'm going to go for red, yellow, green and blue maybe, although red's quite tricky. I mean yellow's really tricky. But anyway, I'm going to just do one today and I'm not going to pick one of my trickier colours. I'm going to make it simpler. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit. We'll have to do it in bits and pieces because uh, I need to see it. My camera's at such a weird angle. There, try and get it in the middle. I, I can't um, move the book because the tripod's in the way, so it's a bit tricky. So what my idea was is to have the house matching the flowers in the same colour. Obviously I have to move it so you can see and when we get to that bit. And um, do the stems and leaves, sorry again you can't see them here, these stems and the leaves the same on every single picture and then they tie together but they're different. That was my plan. So this particular house, I'm going to be using my Stedler Ergosofts um, just because they're nice and fine and we've got quite a few small details with the flowers and things so um but we're going to start with the house now I think I'm going to do this one having said red yellow green and blue I might actually not do one green because the leaves are going to be green I might do this one orange just because why not so Stedler Ergosoft in my set I'm just grabbing for you to see I have this selection of oranges now if this is the 36 set you may not have as many if you've got the 24 you'll probably be missing that one I think but I'm not sure maybe two anyway I'm going to demonstrate with these and you may have to just adapt if you've got less and if you've got a different brand of pencil of course you can still have a go now the roof now I'm thinking is the roof and the walls going to be the same? I don't know. haven't decided. I'm just going to make a start on the walls with my orange in the lightest shade which is 42. And my first job is to just get a layer down on the house. Now I haven't had a lot of experience of colouring houses and I suspect a few people might be the same. If you, If like me you are a big Johanna fan we haven't had lots and lots of houses to colour. So thinking about the texture and the light and shade and that sort of thing on a house is not something I've really had to do before. So, and if you look at a house, a real house, it's often quite hard to spot what's going on. And you might have the sun playing tricks in different angles. And if it's a brick house, it doesn't really reflect light. So it can be a little bit tricky. So it's difficult to uh, know exactly what to do. So what I'm going to do is take a simple and common sense approach, which I think is always good. So there we have our light coating of pencil. I'm trying to just make sure it's as even as I'd like. Okay, and the next shade up for me is the number four and it looks very yellowy in the camera and I'm going to do some shadow here to start with. I think this little lean-to is set slightly back from the main house to be a little bit of shadow and as there would under the roof. Now Johanna's actually drawn a line in for us here so we can just colour above that really so that's quite handy. Now the other places that I often think need a little bit is under the windows, although there's no window sills drawn in, normally we'd have a window sill of sorts. So we'll just pop some shadow in there. Now roof and door, I'm still going to stick with this colour scheme, but I'm going to do them darker. So this is my next darkest, which is 24. And I'm going to go, I'm just checking you can still see, of course you can, the whole of the house is in shot, um, do the roof. Again, like I did with the house, it's just a gentle even layer. Now to get this gentle even and fairly light layer, hold the pencil on its side slightly, don't, and have your hand farish down. If you hold it here, you get hard pressure hold it here it's easier to get a lighter pressure and actually having a blunter pencil is probably easier for this and mine isn't so 
is you can blunt your pencil if you go to a rough page and scribble and scribble but uh, I, uh, I don't tend to do that. I just uh, try and deal with it. Okay. Now we've got the front door as well. I think what I'm going to do is apply some shading to the roof with this pencil and then use the front, do the front door with my final colour. So under here I'm going to do quite a hard heavy layer. Can you see the difference? It's quite... and because I'm holding the pencil much lower I'm using the end of the pencil and I'm obviously pushing down harder as well. So we've got a much heavier layer there. I'm thinking this would be the under part of the roof so it's in shade. I'm also going to shade the edge of the roof. I'm going back to my holding the pencil further up and just applying a gentle layer and I just want to bring it slightly towards the centre. I don't know why I shade roofs like this. I think it just... I don't know. I don't know if they look like this really. I haven't really observed lots of roofs. I need to go into my son's attic bedroom and look across the rooftops, don't I? Now here we need quite a definite line to match the one we've got down here. There we go. Now, oh gosh, I have to wipe my nose, sorry. Oh dear. Now last I'm going to use the number two, which is my darkest orange. It's almost a red, but not quite. And again, I'm doing quite a light layer, just to start with, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I think I'm going to make it a little bit darker here. And then just bring that in, make it look a little bit shiny. There we go. Now windows, before we move on, we've got windows. Now, I've got different ways of doing windows trying to think which way I think we'll do grey windows for this one as if they're just reflecting the light I will grab the number 80 now diagonal colour across on a diagonal and you can leave gaps and it looks like there's white light reflecting off the window it might be tricky for you to see but you can emphasise these white gaps with the gel pen I'll show you in a minute. I didn't get any on those little ones anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this gel pen is going to show up. I think I'm going to go with the, oops, my 08. And just draw a few odd stripes across. It shows up more on a bigger window, especially one with the things in. But there we go, get a sort of stripey effect, which hopefully looks like the light's reflecting off the glass. Now I haven't done the chimney, I'm going to do it the same as the main colour of the house, which you may remember was 42. Now often I make the chimney a little rounded on a house, but this one looks really square. I'm just going to leave it like that so it looks quite square. Some chimneys are square. Now we need to deal with our flowers. Um, we've got a few here. And then we've got a lot above the house. I want them all to look the same and using the same oranges we've used in the house but in a different way. So not all of the same oranges either. The centres, we've got the centres. I think I'm going to do the centres light so I'm going to use number 42 to do this one and I'm going to press hard at the bottom and get lighter up towards the top like that. Now what can you see up here? I'm going to move my book so you can hopefully see the higher flowers. That's it. And do the same with this one. I do this quite quickly but you may need to take a little bit of time and I think we'll do a similar thing with these but instead of putting that harder pressure at the bottom we'll put it at this where it meets the stalky part. I don't know what these are meant to be. I think they look really pretty but uh, I feel it would just work if it's the same as the centre. There's some right at the top that I'm going to do now as well or as I may forget. Half my book's hanging off the table now. 
so forgive me if it's a bit rushed and messy. Do you take your time with yours? There we go now, I'll pop it up. Oh, sorry, try and keep it. Uh, can we see? We can't see those flowers at the bottom. Hold on. There we go. It's a bit of a funny angle to fit those in. So that's the lightest one. We're not going to go back to that one. We're going to get the very darkest one and just do the very centre part of the petals with it. So just around this centre bit, just a tiny application. It doesn't need to be hard because we want it to sort of blend in with the other colours. But hopefully it might give us the impression that the, um, the petals are slightly sunk in. The last one, you can't see. Oh. There we go. Now I'm doing all of the flowers like this first because if I don't, I will forget what I've been doing and uh, I will make a fool of myself by picking the wrong colour. So it's easier to uh, do each one. If they're going to be the same, you know, do each part at the same time or not exactly at the same time. And then you don't risk forgetting what you were doing. That, that's all of those. And now, as you may have guessed, I'm going to go down to the slightly lighter um, orange, which is the 24. And I'm going to take this out a little further. I'm going to actually cover it over with this colour and then draw the colour out towards the tip but I'm still going to leave some blank because we're going to we've got a last colour to go in there this looks almost red I think I find it rather mesmerising and relaxing colouring petals like this. When they're all the same and you're doing the same thing over and over. I know some people can find it, it gets a bit repetitive, but we've only got six, seven flowers here, so it's not a biggie. And we know that we can get this finished in a relatively short space of time as well, which is always rather nice. So just finishing this one. And then, whoop, in that strange angle again. I'm sorry, it's because. Um, my book hits my tripod. Oh, it's a horn beeping outside. It made me jump. Not that badly, luckily. You don't want to jump when you've got a pencil in your hand. Well, worse a pen, I suppose. And now we grab our last orange, the number four, and we go back over and we go over about half of what we coloured before and then take the colour down to the tip. Now if you wish you can go over this again with um, more layers to um, make the um, the graduation of colour more defined but I purposely want mine quite light I just like that effect but it you know it depends on what you're looking for in your picture okay let's slide that down is that the top one yeah and so while I'm doing this I'm beginning to think about the leaves 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 and wondering about what colour 
um, obviously I have already decided they're going to be green so I don't mean what colour as such I mean what shade of green is going to work because it's not only got to work with this orange it's got to work with the other colours of the other houses and um, I am thinking um, I quite like one blue um, the one next to this this one I think these flowers look really pretty in blue um, the one the other side looks like it should be yellow I think I'm not sure I probably could do with a pink one though so we've got quite a range of colors uh, I may change my mind of course so we need to think about what's going to work with all those colors so I thinking with the sort of olivey greens the more yellowy greens they would go well with this and with um, yellows but I'm not so sure they go that well with blue we've got the um, the bluey greens which go with blue and purple really well but I don't think they really go with these so I'm thinking we probably want a mid green tone I haven't done the centre of that last flower which I'm just going to do or if I have, I have but it's so faint I want to just add a little bit more colour to it there we go. So I'm thinking mid greens. So in the Ergosoft, we've got these two. Oops. And um, they are the number 52 and the number 50. And although this one's quite pale, it isn't bluey or yellowy. It's very much just green. And so that's why I've chosen that one. Now I'm going to start with the 52 and do the stalks or stem. So I'm just going to, this top part is quite narrow, so I'm going to put, I put a gentle shade up, you can't see the top bit, there we go. My idea is to try and make it a little bit darker on the edges and where it meets the um, flowers, but on the smaller parts I'll probably just end up darkening the whole thing, but as we get down. it might be more effective. Now I'm not going to use my lighter green on this bit. I need to try and um, find a way for you to see the bottom of this. Hang on a minute. Bear with me, it's going to go a bit funny. Oh, the camera doesn't want to stay. Ugh. Okay, you can see a bit of it, so I can give you the idea. Now under the house is like a little bit of wooden framework. It's so wonky. No, I can't hang on. It blocks my light though. Okay, sorry. That's the best I can do. Um, and I think we'll do that in a minute. I'll do the top two leaves so you can see what I'm doing with the leaves. So a hard layer here and then less towards the tip. And then we're going to go over the end part with the number 50 to just blend it all together and have a lighter tip. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can see it better. I think you can almost now see it to the bottom and I'll talk you through the stem. So this wooden framework, as I say, this middle bit is stem. So I'm going, as I did with the top bit, it's just a light layer of this darker green. And then we're going to come back and do the edges like I did before on the other, on the top. So a harder amount of colour along the edges. doing is just bringing that colour in a little to the middle but not too much. There we are. 
And now we're going to do all the leaves in the same way. Now it was zoomed out, it's going to be hard for you to see, which is why I showed you the first one zoomed in. But basically we're putting down more layers of green here and then spreading out towards the tip with less. I'm doing the same thing on every leaf. And in fact we'll do the same on every leaf on this page. I'm going to make them look as alike as I can even though they're very different as you can see they're different shapes. So when I finish this video I'm going to go in and do every leaf on this page and the stalks all the same. Okay and now I'm going in with the 50 to um, lighten up those tips. So we don't go all the way back to here just where we start to lighten up the colour. And these Ergo Soft, I understand. Oh, I just snapped it. I understand may have been going up in price a little bit. In the UK, that is. I'm not really sure why or whether that is right. I haven't looked lately. Um, but um, they are a rather good pencil. I for the money. But if they've gone up massively, that might not necessarily be right any longer. I don't know. Now I'm going to zoom back in a little so we can do this little platform under the house. Now I think, I was thinking that I might just do it green like the plant, but it looks, there's one on every house and they all look the same, so I'm thinking we could just do it so that they're all the same and they're made of wood, because I think a bit of plant isn't going to support that house, is it? So I'm going to grab two of my browns. I'm going to start with this more orangey brown which is number 73 and I'm going to just put a layer across all of the wood and down here but to make it more wood like we're going to bring in the darker colour and I'm going to do a light layer over the top of the whole of this There we go. And do some little lines if I can get them to show up because wood has a little wood grainy pattern in it and it just gives it that little extra touch. So that's that one done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the wood and platform and the stems and leaves on all the others and then I shall make a little video showing you how to colour the flowers and houses on the other three. Um, I may join that together as one or I may do them separately, it just depends how long it takes. But because you now know how I'm colouring the, the, these few bits, I'm not going to do it again because it's boring um, for you. You know what to do. So you can get on and do that as well if you want before, um, before the next video comes along. But I hope that was helpful. I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy colouring.